Right, guys, unfortunately, Kenzie couldn't make it. He's still stuck at a... Mo is it motocross? Yeah. Still stuck at a motocross. Um, there's been an accident there, so they shut off um, all the access of people leaving and coming back. Um, so let's bring up uh, Harry Coe, and we'll bring up his dad, uh, Jamie Horn. Jamie Horn. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> so guys, obviously, uh, well, I'll start with Harry, because uh, Ken's in here. So Harry, tell people, obviously, how your training been going. Obviously, your last previous fights had obviously all gone your way, but you've constantly been fighting at heavyweight. Uh, you've now dropped down to cruiser. You're currently sitting at 87 kilos, so you're way within the you're way within the limit. Do you feel it better at that weight? And do you feel you you still carry the power? Is this is this going to be your more suitable weight uh, from now on out? Um, I definitely feel way more fitter. I feel like I've carried the power extremely well down to this weight, if not even more, because I'm way faster. I'm a lot more lighter on my feet as well now. Kenzie's made me train very hard because I respect him a lot as a boxer. Definitely the best boxer I've gone against. And I know I can't just go in and rush him like I do with everyone else because it'll just box my head off. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely respect him a lot as a fighter and it's going to be a very good fight. And so this is a very good, uh, a very, very good matchup. Um, it's the first time really you've, you've fought someone now your, your own weight, um, your own age. Uh, you're both young. And like I said, at the at the correct weight, really for yourself, uh, you you openly said to me before. Listen, you you think Ken's is a better boxer than you. You think you slightly carry a little bit more power than what he does. You've shared the ring together, um, so it's going to be a it's going to be a great great fight. Um, everyone again is talking about this fight, uh, about how exciting and how good it's going to be. Um, you got any other words? Obviously, that, that Kenzie can't make it. We know you respect him and stuff like that. Um, but just tell people what they've what they've got to look forward to come or, uh, August the third. Um, well, I'm looking to take him into very deep waters, like I do with everyone. But I'm coming for nothing but a win this time. But yeah, I know he's training very hard, and I know he's taking it very seriously. With so am I. So everyone should expect a very very good fight. So obviously with Kenzie, um, <coughs> he has been training extremely hard. Uh, he's been training with his dad, he's been training with myself, he's been doing a lot of sparring with the likes of, uh, with Craig Ledby, uh, uh, rulings and stuff like that. Um, does that does that bother you knowing that the the level of people that he's training with or do you just concentrate on, on what you do and how your training's going? Um, yeah, no, it don't bother me at all. I want the best Kenzie as possible because I'm training with some high-level people as well, so the best man will win on the night. And so, Jamie, obviously, you know, um, <coughs> you wasn't too happy when we first when we first took the fight because uh, you you ain't gonna be here. Um, you've you've been coming to the gym. You've watched Kenzie spar now. You've seen what he's been doing. You've seen how he's been progressing. And it was only last week uh, you turned around and said, "You know what? Like now, I feel happy." Fucking beat me up. Uh, so, but yeah, just, just just tell a few people about obviously, like I said, your son and uh, how he's been training, what he's been going, and what you expect from him come fight night. Yeah. Well, firstly, I'd like to apologise, Harry. Kenzie couldn't be here. He rang me up at hour three and said, "Dad, I don't know what to do. We're stuck where we are." And I said, "Well, you can only do what you can do, mate." But I still can't get hold of him. So, um, but yeah, when he first said about this fight, I said, "Ken, I've already booked the holiday. I'm on holiday." I said, "And." The way I see Harry fighting last time, when it was the last time Ken's fought, I honestly thought that was the fight of the night between Harry and he fucked me, that was a war they had. So I said, Ken's the trouble is, you're flat out motocross at the minute, and I'm, I'm gonna have to, you're going to have to be in the gym four to five days a week, and I can't commit to helping you. But he said, he said, Dad, I want to do it. He said, Harry called that out. He said, I, I'm going to accept to do it. I said, well, if you do it, but you've got to put your effort into it. And fair play to him, he has. Even last Wednesday, I rang him and said, Ken, I ain't going to get home in time to take you to the gym. And then Kirsty rang me and said, Kenzie's outside on a push bike, asking for his boxing bag. And I said, I can't even remember the last time he's rode a push bike, but that's how, how, how um, 
how dedicated he is to fighting. He's borrowed his brother's push bike to ride to the gym, and he said, Dad, I'll do what I can. And then when I turned up, I turned up late, and he said, come on, that's when you took us for the run. And I said, bloody hell, but fair play, he has been putting it in. But I said to him, if you're fighting Harry, mate, there's no, there's no like, no not going to the gym or fucking skiving or anything like that. You've got to be on top form. And to be fair, when I came in and saw what you and Craig done to him the other week, <coughs> and then I got in and inspired him, I said to him, mate, fair play, he is ready. And, and that's a good... the best I've ever seen him. And that's a good thing, see, guys, because both of these guys are are training hard because they both respect each other and they both know what they both bring to the table. And the good thing is when, when they take it serious like this and, and they both train hard because they both really want to win, um, that, just shows, that just shows a lot. And, and for me, like I said, this fight, it's, it, when, I, when, I matched, got, when I got the fight matched up in, in Harry, Harry came to me and asked for the fight. Um, I thought, Do you know what, what it, it's, it's a great fight. Um, so I, I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, Ken's has been training very hard. I know Harry, he he trains hard and whatever he does. But one thing with Harry is, whenever he steps in that ring, he he leaves he leaves his heart in the ring. He leaves everything in that ring, and he he he, he gives everything 110 percent. And the same as Kenzie. Um, thing with Kenzie, like I said in the past, and even and even Harry to a degree. Both of these guys in the past, when they've both fought. We'll just take shots, and you look at them and think, "You crazy fucker!" Do you know what I mean? Like they're just they're they're taking shot, and I think, "Fucking hell, boys, what are you doing?" And and they just keep coming. Um, this time, like I said, I think they're both they're both gonna box a lot better. So I, I honestly believe that you're in for a real real treat uh, with this fight again. And, and I don't know. I keep saying about all the other fights, um, you know, they're, they're good 50-50. It could be fighting tonight. Listen, any of them could be, but. Mark my words, don't surprise me if if this fight does does take it. What what I like about this what I like about this fight is we've got two good boxers with two different styles. We've got Harry, he'll come forward and he'll punch the hell out of you. And we've got Kenzie who's slick and can box. Um, so just on that Harry, like obviously you know you know what Kenzie's coming with, he can box, he's slick. Um, how how would you like to approach that knowing you want to come forward and try and just try and not, not not knock him out but try and box but you hit hard well I know I can't be lazy with him because he will just catch me and I'll point me I don't think he'll knock me out like if he was to win it would be definitely be on points but I know I can't be sloppy for a wild shots be lazy and tired in there because he will just box my head off like I said at the start so he's got to be prepared for me now really <laughs> So Jamie, I'll ask you that same question. So obviously, Harry's a big puncher. How will how will how will Kenzie come into the fight knowing uh, the power that uh, Harry possesses? Well, this is what I said to Ken. I said Ken so after watching Harry's last fight. I said he might not have won his last fight, but Ken didn't win against Harvey, was it? Harvey. Harvey, yeah. I said, but he came in and he he was a heavy puncher on Ken. So he has stepped up. I mean, I've put it on him as hard as I could to even the point that Craig went to take him out. <coughs> and I couldn't. <coughs> then he's been sparring, obviously, Craig as well. But he's been taking big hits, but <coughs> obviously I don't want him to take the big hits, so he's, that's what he's been working on as well. So power and moving and everything like that. So, <coughs> mate, I'm his dad, but I honestly think it's a 50-50 fight. I said, Ken, you've got to be on your fucking A game. And if you're not, you get caught with one of the shots, you're going to struggle. But after seeing what, like, him in the gym and seeing Harry's last fight, I can't even call it, man. Gens is on top of his game, and I hope Harry is. And like you say, Steve, even with the, the Craig fight and the Sean Grant and that, this could be a fight of the night, and this could be a fight they remember, like Craig and Kenton, I think. So obviously, so obviously Jamie's not here on the 3rd of August. He's away. Um, how are you going to feel when you're sunning it, when you're sunning it drinking them sangria? Where are you going, by the way? Cape Verde, when you're, when you're drinking, having a few beers and that, how are you going to feel knowing on the 3rd of August, your son is in the ring fighting Harry Cole? Mate, last time Kenzie fought, I've had about, what, 17, fucking 15, 17 heavyweight fights. And, mate, even now, I'm fit now, I'd get in and I'd fight the likes of Sean Grant because I'm a fucking idiot. But when Kenzie's fighting, mate, I hate it. I wake up in the morning, I'm ringing him, you all right, Ken? Yeah, stop, Dad, stop asking me if I'm all right. Ken's curse, he's like, do you want dinner? I said, curse, I can't, mate, I feel physically sick. And I said to Ken, you're going to ruin my holiday, man. Because I just, I hate it, but in a way, I don't want to be there. But 
But he said, I said, Ken, how are you going to feel? Because I've obviously I've been there every single fight. I've been by his side every time. And now I think, fair, he went down, I'll be all right. And he's so let him step out of it, isn't it? So, will, will you have anybody uh, live in it? Mate, I will or? be too drunk to even fucking <laughs> feel like it because I... I will. I won't be able to watch it. I'll be that drunk. I'll be so nervous all day. I will be that drunk. I won't know what's going on and I'll find out on Facebook the next day. So, Harry, um, obviously, Kenzie's not here, but his dad's here. Um, do, you, do you have any last words for Kenzie for come August the 3rd? Um, like I'm very, very clear, I respect them a lot. And I hope we come each other, no, come in the ring to hurt each other. And not that bad, though. But I hope we leave the ring all healthy. But I'm definitely coming to win. And I wish you the best. As we said, people, honestly, this card is one of the best cards I've seen for a long time. And please, please get your tickets. And December, Jamie Orn's back. Oh, Jamie's back, is he? Remem remember As he steps that. out of the seat very sharpish. Remember that. As he steps out of the seat very sharpish. Please give it up for Jamie Horn and Harry Cole. <laughs> right, let's bring up the stud himself. James Bridgeman. Is he a stud, is he? He's a stud. Look at him. 